my god, I'm so excited. Okay, um, I found a NYX in my city. My crappy, crappy city. There's a drugs. actually there's a couple drugstores because I, I looked on the NYX website and there's actually four or five places that carry NYX. The one I went to that's closest to me was a disappointment. They only had the trios, um, a couple of single eyeshadows, the jumbo eye pencils, the jumbo like lip pencils, and a few liquid liners and the doll eye mascaras or whatever they're called. Yeah, I really wanted to get some lipsticks and lip glossies and all that and no, didn't have. So I'm wondering, do the other ones have lip glosses and just this one have the eyeshadows? I don't know. So I think next time I'm just going to purchase them from the um, NYX website because I was like, oh. And then half the trios were like sold out and then they only had a couple of the singles and I was like, wow, this is crappy, crappy. So I'm going to show you what I got. Um, I'm not going to do swatches in the video. I'll just swatch them at the end and post up some photos for you guys. So I think it would be easier that way and I can make sure I'm at my time limit because I'm always bad for, for going over. Um... I got new lights. Um, I bought the like the natural light things instead of the bulbs being like clear. They're blue, and it's just supposed to give off less uh, yellow light, so it doesn't like distort your colors and stuff. So I put it in my upper one here and in my lamp that's in front of me. So I thought that'd be a lot better for you guys to see in like makeup tutorials and stuff to see the true colors. Cause sometimes when I watch the tutorials, I'm like. Wow, it d didn't do justice at all, so, yes. Okay, so let's get started. Um, uh, the next trios I'll start with. I just got two. Um, here in Canada, the next trios are $9.99, so $10. Which isn't bad for three eyeshadows, because the single ones are $5.99, so... The first trio I got, which I haven't used yet, the only... Oh, well, I'll talk later. Anyways, the first NYX trio I got is in Serenity. It's number 44, and it doesn't list the colors, which is really weird, because I'll tell you something that I found later with the NYX eyeshadows. Anyways, so these are them. I didn't use them, I just like looked at them. I'm in love with these colors. This one is gorgeous. The payoff is great. The payoff in this one is fantastic too. This one is a little bit, it takes a little bit to work up. But regardless, really pretty colors. Um, so I'll put swatches at the end for you. This trio is gorgeous. This is my favorite trio that they had um, out of the selection that they had. Um, this one is no name. It just lists the name of the colors. This one is gorgeous. I'm in love with this color. It's like a nice like coppery sort of color. And I think it goes copper, rust, and then bronze. So there you go. Again, swatches at the end. The one thing I noticed with next shadows, I know that um, they're made in China. Well, some of them are. It depends what batch you have. But it's really weird to me because look at that. This one has three color eyeshadows, TS1, copper, rust, bronze. This one is NYX too, and it has NYX, and then it has the name of the trio, and then it has like Chinese writing symbols. So I'm like, that's really strange to me that it's the same brand, but they have different, different things. I don't know what's going on with that, but. Then I got the, a NYX single eyeshadow, and this one's in golden. Love this. So it's just a pretty gold color. I don't know if you can see that. Let's do this. I actually have that on in my um, in my part here and underneath my eyes a little bit. And then this one is in iced mocha. Love this color. It's so pretty. It kind of reminds me of Max Movement pigment, which I love. That's my favorite pigment to put like in the outer V and all that. Um, then I got a NYX Jumbo Pencil. This is the other thing that disappointed me. I really wanted the Milk and the Yogurt Pencil. 
and they had like the pink and the blue and the and the black and all that but anyways I just got the gold one and it looks like these this I'll swatch for you because it's easy enough to do there you are and this I actually wore as a vase today um, I was scared of it creasing so I actually put painterly paint pot on first and then I kind of put this over top and this I'm actually wearing like underneath as a base and then I put um, this one on top golden so yeah so that was all my NYX stuff I bought as I said it was an extreme disappointment of the selection that they had it was very sad but I guess you make do with what you have right okie doke then I got some drugstore stuff yes Drugstore stuff isn't bad. It's really... I, I, I love drugstore makeup. So cute. Okay. Um, I, I needed a foundation primer because my foundation doesn't... I don't know. It annoys me when it comes off. Because that's like what I spent the most of my time doing in the morning. And then that's the first thing to come off. So I'm like... Crappers. So I got the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Foundation Primer. And so far... I, I wore it under my makeup today. It's really good. Now, it's colored. Can you see that? It has like a pinky, pinky shade to it. So, look, look. where is it? There it is. So, but it blends in, it, it blends in. So if you like are thinking of buying this and you look at the color and you're like, um, it's pink. Yeah, no, it blends in. So, it blends into your skin tone. So, <clears throat> it goes like clear or whatever. And now I run out of my Bare Essentials um, Mineral Veil. We don't have, um, like, Sephora or anything here in Canada. Or Bare Essentials. Or any place that sells Bare Essentials. Let's just put that. I actually had to buy that off of uh, eBay. Um, I got a really good deal on it, but now I'm out. So, I needed to buy um, a mineral, like, something to set my foundation. So I got this CoverGirl True Blends uh, Minerals in Translucent Fair. It comes in a jar like this. Um, 18 grams. It comes in like a little sifter with this thing. It comes with one of those this CoverGirl thingies. Yeah. Don't like that thing, but um, this is really good actually. I was surprised. Um... It has a little bit of shimmer in it, so not like crazy shimmer, like your face isn't going to look like a penny in the sun, but it has a nice shimmer just to give you like a nice glow, which is good in the winter time because, I mean, like my skin gets really dull in the winter time, so it makes it really bright and makes it good. So that, and I really wanted a lipstick. I'm not a lipstick person, but I like to try to try lipsticks. So I got this Rimmel, um, this is the pink little, plus I love the casing. Um, it's number 275 in Dreamy. Looks like this. I don't know if you can see that. It's very gorgeous. Love it. If you're not a lipstick wearer, can you see that? Definitely recommend it. I'm wearing it right now. On with Max. Uh, flower Osophy Luster Glass over top of it. Love it. Can't stop wearing it. Ha. So that was my haul. Oh look, I bought an after. I bought the After Eights chocolates, and like I kept the bottom and it fits my Q-tip so cutely, isn't it? I'm gonna like decorate it and stuff. Ha. Okay. Anyway, so that's my haul. Um, I'm gonna end this right now because I want to. Um, put pictures. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will um, answer them for you. Bye bye you guys.